and today we're here again, once again, in the Paradise Tribe as usual. And yes, it is another day with our Barina friend. Well, not really your friend, because he's about to die. But, you know, all's well is good. Anyway, I don't think I used that phrase right. But <laughs> anyway, um, we are with our winged tribe, and in this episode, I do kind of want to focus on new genes, such as the peacock tail, and actually, if I can find it, the antenna, which a measly three members of our tribe has, and they're related to each other, so feels bad. But yeah, that's what we're really going to be focusing on for now, although we have a very large amount of winged nichelings, actually. Um, I think we just got two new children with wings, Kalare and Myus, soon to be renamed. I'm going to name you... Well, no, you know what? I was going to name you Ruby, but that's not a bird. Unless it is, but I don't know. Anyway, um, what shall we name you then? I think... Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna name you Ruby, who cares? Okay, um, I know that was breaking tradition a little bit, but whatever. <laughs> anyway, um, Kalari, what shall I name you then? I think I'm gonna name you Ani. Annie? I don't, I don't know how to, whatever. Um, anyway, Harrier, you can just keep knocking down the tree, and, you know, I was talking in a few episodes back how I loved your children, and how we should have more, but that didn't work, so now you're just confined to this tree. Sorry. <laughs> but it's just how it has to be. Well, anyway, um, what am I saying right here? Oh, right. I did want to breed for the peacock tail, so let's just- I know that we have two nichelings with the male peacock tail. Or just, you know, like the peacock tail that's present. Um, Bronzewing and Partalote, who are siblings, and actually Partalote, you have a pretty good- a pretty good mix of genes, I guess you could say, because, you know, you've got the peacock tail and the wings. Well, Bronzewing, you only have the peacock tail, but you do have some nice patterns, so I'll give you a pass. Anyway, let's give- let's find you guys as mates. Um, let's see here. Well, Ruby actually has it in her genes, but it might take a while to, like, to have her grow up, I guess. So it might- she might not actually grow up until the next episode. So maybe Florican, E and I- Okay, this is actually getting really confusing. E and I, I and H, yeah. So, no I or H, because they both have I and H. So what about Verdon, E and I- you know, yeah, I already went over this. Basically, this whole family line has I in it because of Scop. So what about Quail? Well, I mean, ENF, you could definitely breed with both of these young males, I suppose. Um, anyway, what about the antennae? Antennae, whatever you'd like to call them. Um, Eider and Hawk. I think since Hawk is grown up, we'll go with him, and he has two wings, so... Let's find you a mate, but it, we don't have to be terribly selective, he just needs to have wings. So, yeah, look at that. Anyway, um... Oh, Satella's still here. Cool. Alright, Hawk. Let's see here. Ani, too young. Eider, he's a male. Flamingo, nope. Quail, Hawk, Owl. Oh. Hmm, okay. I know that there is a nichling here somewhere that I would like to breed him with. Okay. Okay, you know what, just whatever. I'll just find her. There she is. It's Mina. Let's see here. Mina and Hawk. Yep, they're... That checks out, so yeah. I'll breed them on the next turn. And though I can't put the um, antennae into the mutation menu because we don't technically have it. Hawk can have lots of children, so it's all good. And same with his brother, wherever he is, I don't know. Let's just find him. Eider, um, they both have like different-ish amenities, so perhaps those, the children of them can come together and 
have children. So, that's the way the crypt. Nope, you know what? I was gonna say that's the way the cookie was gonna crumble, but obviously I can't speak at all, so never mind. Just never mind. Anyway, let's breed you two. Okay, again, never mind. And we'll have, you know, Quetzal do his job. Just grab these fruit. I know that we already got the person out in our genetics, which I should probably put more into our breeding groups, but I don't think we're really breeding right now because of our restrictions. So, whatever. And Flamingo, you can just... Well, hmm. Well, we're kind of migrating to this area, so you can just go over here and... Yep. Tear a good-sized chunk in this dark area. Same with you, Eider, though you can't fly as fast. Let's just bring you over there. Yep. And yeah, Partalote. Well, I mean, you can just stay here, I guess. Well, actually, you know what? I bet you could breed with Goldeneye. No, you can't. Never mind. Well, I tried, guys. Well, you know what? I bet you could breed with the... With Quail. I'm pretty sure we decided to breed them too with. So, you know, we can just go with Quail. Wherever Quail is. You know, she's all grown up, so we can do that now, actually. Oh, Quail, where are you? Does that work? No, it doesn't. Okay. We'll just have- we're just gonna have to find her when we do. Oh, wait, there she is. Okay. Well, you guys are close to each other, so... Boop. Now you can have your child on a pile of meat. Awesome. Alright, let's check out your immunity genes. I think I'm going to go with... I guess... Hold on. Okay, so I'm gonna go with wings. There we go. <laughs> and let's just check bronze wing. Yeah, okay. Well, we're just gonna give you wings, and then we're also going to give you the person out. Hooray! Or maybe we could give you the peacock tail. Hmm. Okay, you know what? I think I'm gonna go with the peacock tail, because it's more bird-oriented, which, again, I explained that was our main goal. And, I, yeah, I don't really follow through with that, but I'm, I'm trying. I assure you guys. Well, anyway, um... I don't know if that rogue male is still lurking around causing trouble, but we'll have to see. And Cormorant, you just had your first child? No, Cormorant. Yeah, you just had your first child. Congratulations. Um, you know, I'm really not sure if I want to breed you two more. That's mostly just because, well, you know, we're like, m basically more oriented towards the newer genes, like the peacock tail, so, you know, and I need to kind of, like, keep a low profile on what I start trying to breed, because, you know, population issues. And Vanga, you know what? Speaking of population issues, Vanga's about to die! And he actually is the father of Bronzewing and Partalote. I'm just gonna get rid of this right here. Of Bronzewing and Partalote. So, you know, that's kind of cool. Just when we're out of turns, we can say goodbye to him. Okay. And Goldeneye, I think I'm just gonna help have you help gather because, you know, you can do that with your beak. And yes, Partalote. What can you do? I, I don't know. What can you do? Well, I guess you can just stand there. I don't know. Maybe you could breed with Arakari or something? Well, no. I, I think it's better to just breed him with maybe a winged Nishling and possibly Quail also. So we'll have to see for you, Arakari. I honestly don't even know if I want to breed you. Anyway, um, yeah, let's just end the day. And as I said, we're going to say goodbye to Vanga. Bye, Vanga. Okay, we said bye to him. I don't... You know, that was kind of... That didn't sound as in sincere, but I try my best. <laughs> okay, so it looks like we got Isla, so we're gonna have to name you. I think I'm gonna name you... Hmm. You know what? You don't have any wings, so... I guess I'll have to save that name for another time. I think I'm just gonna name you... 
Okay, I'm gonna turn the page. Alright, I'm gonna name you Perua. Okay. And, yes. Do you have any- No, you don't even have any jeans that I particularly wanted, so... Okay. Fail number one. Let's just try again. Okay, that also failed. Hold on. Alright, finally. Jeez, okay, um... So we're just gonna have Elise carry up that pile of meat. That might have been a bad omen, I don't know. And, yeah, okay, so... Goldeneye, you can just do what you can do. And Owl... Yeah, you know, I could breed Owl with a niche a nicheling that has female peacock tail. Um, he does have E and H, so he can breed with this family line, I think. Yeah, like, no, mine is already E and I. E and K. Well, Owl, tough luck on that, buddy. You have E. What about... Ruby? I don't know. I mean, you can... No, you can't. Okay. Well, that's a little strange ish, I guess. You know, if we wanted to breed you, we'd have to breed you with Mina, but I was going to set up Mina with Hawk, so like, okay, I guess, whatever. I mean, Hawk has the big cocktail anyway, so whatever, okay. Um, let's just bring Mina over to near Hawk. They can settle in this nest where actually I think Sparrow had her children, or well, one of them at least. And we can breed. Okay, great. Alright, we're a little pushy on this um, population thing, but I'm sure we'll be fine. And yeah, so what shall I put in your mutation menu? I think I'm going to give you the peacock tail. Yep. And if we look at Hawk, he does have blindness, so I'm also going to give mine a normal eyesight. Because I don't want to happen the thing with Elise where he has short-sighted eyes and blind eyes and then we have to put two double eyesight in his mutation. Yeah, okay. You get you get what I'm saying, I imagine. I think we're gonna do the same for Hawk also. Except I guess I just gonna give him the peacock tail. And then I'm going to give him the mask, just to keep that in the family, hopefully. So yeah, um, Hawk, you can just move over here. And Verdin, you can go on this tree to find some prey that you can't hunt because you're too weak. Well, that was miscalculated, that's for sure. So let's just have Starling help her out. And, oh, you know what? It's Starling's last day. Let's try to... Aha! Alright. That could have gone badly, but it didn't. Well, anyway, um, I think it's time for Florikin to leave her post and go... Oh, you know what? That just made another dark patch. Okay, maybe Cormorant can help out. I don't know. I'm just trying my best to, like, keep the dark patches not dark because I don't want anything to spawn. Well, you know, having Wanderers could be cool, so maybe, maybe we could do that, but whatever. And Fireback, you know, I don't plan on breeding you, so you can just do that. Oh, yes, Eider, you know what? You're about to grow up, but we're not going to find you a mate just yet. And can I click on you? Yes, I can. Anyway, Stork. Well, you know what? Our Barina guard is kind of dwindling, I think, because a few of them died. But, you know, we're doing our best. And actually, Cardinal's about to die, so... Rest in peace, Cardinal. I mean, when the next day comes, obviously, but still, rest in peace. And actually, what are you doing here, Flamingo? I know that I brought you here, so rhetorical question. But, you know, I should probably bring you out of there. Wow, okay. You know, with the wings, you can fly, like, everywhere, and it's kind of overwhelming, so we're gonna have to bring you here. And, oh yeah, our Akari. You know, should I even be, like, wasting my time? Well, no, just, I guess, using up my time moving you, because you're not really going to do anything. Whatever. Goose, I do want to breed you because you have Purse Snout. 
in your genetics. Um, you were a bit of an accident, but it turned out alright, I guess. So, yeah. And, okay, well, we're out of turns, so let's just see what Quail's next child will look like. And I'm, I'm crossing my fingers, guys. Just, please. No! What is this? Quail? Okay, well, you know, you have female peacock tail, so that's good. But, again, no! Okay, Ramira, you, um, you have female peacock tail, which isn't shown. I don't know if that's a glitch or not, who cares. Um, what shall I name you? I think I'm just gonna name you, uh, Sibia, I guess? And, oh, would you look at that, guys? We had another female peacock tail. D chill child. Okay, well, you know what? That lifts my spirits a little bit because she does, in fact, have double wings. So, alright, I feel a little better now. I think I'm gonna name you Sisticola. Um, yes, lots of strange ish names. And I don't even know if I'm pronouncing it right, so, whatever. <laughs> okay. Um, anyway, Quetzal, oh, you know what, you're gonna die, and I didn't give you any children, and I don't know if I want to give you any children. You do have peacock tail, but, mm, I don't know, honestly, but anyway, I'm really trying to harp on getting a male so it shows up, but uh, whatever, it's, it's okay. Um... Looks like Starling died. I'm sorry, Starling. I didn't really stay to witness your death. And you know what? Sparrow died too! Oh my god, okay. I'm sad because both of our original winged sisters are dead. Satella, no. And only Fireback remains, and I don't even plan on breeding him. Okay. Um. Well, I mean, S Satella's line does go back a lot, like, these two had a lot of children. Oh wait, no, that's Karkara. Yeah, they had a lot of children. Um, well anyway, Harrier, you're about to die too. I loved your children, they were so pretty. Um, Kamana, I am going to name you, sorry for stalling. Let's see here, what shall I name you? I think we're gonna name you Chick Eddie. Yep, I put chickadee on the list because where I live, there's quite a lot of chickadees, and yeah, that's like the only reason why. Anyway, um, so yeah, Sisticola, welcome. I'm satisfied with that result. I think we can spare having another child here. We can just, yep. We're waiting for a few friends to die. Just so, you know, we can kind of stop pushing it on our population issues. Which is why I'm not breeding any more children just for the sake of wings or anything. Because, yeah, the, the thing I just explained. And Chachalaka, you can just go deeper in with your, um, Baryina Guard friends. Or your Border Patrol. I don't know what I should call them. I really don't. Well, anyway, Stork. You know, our Baryina friends are actually kind of dwindling because I, fr I stopped having Baryina children. Yes, Sylphen Thrush. That was cool. But anyway, um... I guess Flamingo, you can just go over here and clear out some grass. And again, let's take a look at your genetics. It doesn't seem like you have a lot of genetics that I would like, but you could also be a mother to any purse notes, perhaps. That sounds fun. Cause, you know, I am- I would like to orient some of my search for new genes towards, you know, having purse notes. And yeah, actually, Sisticola, you do have a weather prediction, so you would be a good mate for any of these niche things. Maybe Partalot, H and E, I and H. Ooh, never mind. Okay. Well, we are having some immunity gene problems. If it's just okay. Anyway, Florican, you can just go back to your normal spot. 
And yes, Verdon, you actually have the bird beak and the female peacock tail. So I do want to breed you too. Xenops is your uncle, I think. So yeah, no. Let's see here. I, I mean, we're not gonna focus on breeding you for now because you're a bit young. So you have a lot of life left in you. Life left in you. <laughs> Say that three times fast. So Cormorant, maybe you could look for some wanders that might have spawned. Okay, no. I don't know. Um, the reason why I'm a little oriented towards wanders is because I just want to get some new genes. I remember when we first found Stella, who actually is the mother of the wing, along with, you know, Sun Gem, wherever she is, there she is. So yeah, both of them contributed to our winged population to this day. So, thank you guys. But yeah, um, I would like to get new ones. Like, you know, person out and person out. Okay, you know what? What I meant to say is I want to get person out and I want to get peacock tail and I also want to get, um, wherever it is, antennae, which like four nichelings have. So that is my goal. It's kind of like a mini paradise, no, hurricane tribe. We're trying to get all of the fun genes. Except, you know, there was one thing that I never really mentioned, and that's actually the tail fin, who, which we can't get because we're on the whale island. So we can get that when we leave. If we leave. I don't know if we'll leave. So yeah, that's cool. Anyway, Ruby, you can go on out into the world and just hop around and have fun because you're young and I can't breed you, so I can't do anything with you. So, you know, do that. And I wonder when this, um, whale will spout out its water again. That was cool, when that happened. And yes, Quail, you are gonna have another child. Though, so, um, I have less faith in you than, um, the- this pair because of their instantaneous success. Okay, no need to- like, no reason to really continue, but I'm going to anyway. I'm not going to discriminate, because we technically need like two families for this. So yeah, um, Eider, you can- well, you're grown up, but again, you're young, so we're not going to totally focus on you. You do have the antenna, so we're going to have to focus on that one day. And yeah, we're actually out of turns, so let's just see what, um, Quail's charm will look like, and third time's the charm, guys. Third time's the charm. Yep, there we go. That is, okay, goal complete. And wow, okay, you know what? Renuko, R Ronuku, that is your name. You actually are pretty good. If you had another wing, you would look like your uncle, Hartalot, but you don't, but that's fine. Okay, third time's the charm, and it happened, so, yeah. What shall I name you then? I think I'm gonna name you. Well, I want to name you something cool, but I'm gonna name you Excentor. Excentor, Excentor. I don't know. And we're gonna go over here to this family. I'm hoping that they had another success. No. Well, perhaps not. Um, they do have a bird beak, so I'm gonna name that a success. And she does have the mask too, so I'm glad that's going on. I'm gonna name you Fairy. And yes, that is an actual bird type. You can look it up. So, yeah. Welcome to the world, Fairy. Ugh, even saying that is weird. Okay. Um, well, I guess we could breed again. We're not gonna have the child because mine is out of moves. But Chachalaka, you can just go over here and clear out more grass. I know it's kind of like a futile attempt because it'll just breed grow, but that's what the Bear Unigard is going to do. They're just gonna keep on keeping on because I have no I don't know what else to say. Okay, we're gonna destroy that. Oh, that hurt her. Sorry, Stork. I don't know, they're the Baryuna Guard, so they're meant to serve. So I don't feel terribly bad, but I'm sorry if you felt attached to Stork. Yeah. 
Anyway, we can try to call for any wanderers, maybe. I think that's a good idea since I was talking about getting them. Jeez. That's the Donomingo cry, and it is always freaky every single time. Anyway, Oni, you know what? You're like a hunter, like your aunt Sparrow, so I'm sure you could help with the bunny hunting, even though there isn't really any bunnies around. Huh. Okay, well, I'll perch you on a tree where you can gather up. Oh, there's a bunny. Well, it's gone now, but maybe if we could get Owl to... Yep, okay, good job, Owl. Maybe I could breed you two to have extra hunter e child children. E and H, G and E. Nope, never mind, okay. Well, Vernon, you can just grab this, um, these oak tree acorns. And Ruby, well, you're still just touring around the whale island, trying to get to know it, because. I mean, you can't really do anything else for now, so that's cool. And Goldeneye, you can just continue to grab the fruit. Yes, I know what to say today. And Quail, okay. So here comes the question of whether I should stop, and I think the obvious answer is no, so. Hooray, that didn't work. Okay, well, we can just have Bronzewing just kind of... Hmm. Okay, well, I guess the Nishling gods decided that I should stop. I mean, I'm not going to stop, but I'm going to stop for now because they said so. Anyway, Eider. Another thing that would be good if we could stop our Akari sickness by getting the purse out. I feel like that would be cool, but anyway, Eider, you can just try to destroy that, but fail because you have no attack strength. And Pardalot, I could bring you over and also breed with quail. I think I'm gonna finally do that. I don't know why I didn't do that. But we're gonna approach you up here and say hi to your brother's family. Okay, just saying that sounds wrong, but I'm still gonna breed them. And fire back. You guys can just, you know, grab some more acorns and cormorant. Oh yeah, just cover up. Oh, look, it's a stump where you can do your old job of calling out for random nichelings. Hooray, I think that's actually how we got Karkara, I believe. And man, Karkara looks kind of weird, and that's because she has no tail, because it's not displayed. So yeah, it looks like um that's the end of the day, and there's no birds to be witnessed, I don't think, so we're just gonna end the day. Okay, I just heard... What? I just heard a barina. What was that about? Okay, hold on. Oh. Oh, you know what? Did you, like, kill one of our niche things, or was that Stork? No, I think Ibis was just gonna die anyway, if I remember correctly. Well, go, barina guard, go! Oh, no, okay, um, can we get to you? Yes, we can. Go, Goose, go. How's your attack? Oh, you know what? It's not that good. What about your attack? Okay, I think we can do this. Hooray, we did it. All right, Chachalaka, you can come back and do and have a victory, I guess. So that's a good f food source. And Flamingo, you know, you have, you are a hunter, but you're also a good collector. Oh wait, this isn't an acorn tree, this is just a tree. Huh. Alright then. That's interesting, nonetheless. And yeah, we'll just settle Mina down and Fairy. Well, you can just go there. Well then. Um, I think Accentor, I'm just gonna move you over here. That's cool. And yes, we're finally gonna have that child. And Brown's wing. Uh, you know what? I should have bre I should have bred her with part of them. Okay. Well then. <laughs> Whatever. So yeah. Okay. And Sibia, you can just go over here and try to hunt. And okay. Well, it failed. Maybe no. Okay. Well, we tried, but we failed, so we'll just have Owl come over here and help. Great. 
Alright, well, Goldeneye, you can just keep doing what you're doing. And Elise, you know, your old mate Cormorant, she's actually over here trying to make some noise. No pun intended. So you can do the same, but I don't think there's a lot of wanderers around, so. Sad. Okay, this isn't working. I tried, guys. I tried. Well, Ida. I, no. I, why did I name you I Why did I call you Ida? Ider. You can just go over here and try to poison this bunny, apparently. And yeah, okay. Well, Hawk. You can just, I guess, cover some of this, some of the stark areas. And Sisticola, you can protect, protect your, your sister from any non-existent birds because your parents are busy, I guess. Anyway, Xenops, you know, I think your, um, your job has been done because, well, your mate is dead. And you've had like three children, so it's all good. And yeah, I have like way too many niche things that I know what to do with them, and I'm just trying to spread them out, but it's still confusing. And uh, it's just weird, honestly. So we'll just have, you know, we're just ha gathering a bunch of food, and you know, guys, it might be time to leave this island. This island and you know like downsize our population for once so yeah and it's not even a problem because all of our wing nichelings can get over there in a few days so anyway um partalote you can just try to attack this nichling you know i meant like bull <laughs> well anyway it looks like the only turns we have left is arakari and mina and i'm just gonna not use mina's turns i mean arakari's turns because there, it's no use, guys. Well, anyway, let's just witness these guys as children. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. What? What is this? What is this? Okay, we have antenna, we have wings, and we have peacock tail, and we have varina hind legs. Um, I don't know if that's good or not. <laughs> okay. And I didn't even realize you were a male, but obviously you are because of the tail. <laughs> okay, well, what shall we name you? We have to obviously name you something cool because you are cool, so, you know. Anyway, okay, come on. Okay, what shall I name you? I think I'm going to name... <gasps> what shall I name you? <laughs> this might take a while, guys. Dang it! I'm going to name you... Oh man, okay. I used all of the good names. This is, this is a little... This might take a while. I think I'm gonna name you Tapaculo. Okay, let's just, let's just check the other nicheling. Will, will they be as good? Uh, no, they will not. Okay, you know what, that's a little bit of a disappointment, but I'm still on an adrenaline rush from Tapaculo, so I don't I don't even care. Okay, Rover, welcome. I'm gonna name you Orange. No, I'm not. What am I gonna name you? I think I'm gonna name you Bitturn. I really need more male names, jeez. So yeah, um, I think that's where we're gonna end off this episode. Um, we just got one amazing nicheling. Oh my gosh. So, yeah, that's, that's where we're going to end this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I hope to see you guys in the next episode. Goodbye!